G'day guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm taking out the tinny to a nearby reef system in search of some fresh seafood. The conditions are amazing and I only have a few hours up my sleeve. So let's get into the action. This is so good. Normally the water out here is pretty brown most parts of the year, but today, coming into winter, it's super clear. Look at this reef. We've got reef out the back here and it drops off. Then we've got a reef over there. I've just put the anchor on a sandy patch there. Man, I'm already kitted up, so I'm gonna put the mask on, put my fins on, and jump in the water and try to get a few fish for the day. First dive down, I find a nice spot to lay and straight away see heaps of brim. A few small trevally cruising through on my right. It just looks really fishy. Water's a little bit chilly, but man, this visibility is probably the best I've seen in a good year. Even though it does look a little bit green on the camera. I spent a while exploring the shallower section of the reef. No big fish yet, apart from some giant brim, schooled up, mostly in the shallows. I really wanted to target tuskies and there's a lot of cod in these, in these areas as well. So they were the two fish I was really looking for. I spent a lot of time diving down, finding a spot to lay and scratching the bottom to try and draw in a tusky. No signs of one yet, although it was so peaceful down there and was having such a good time exploring the area. First spot didn't produce heaps and heaps of brim and really good structure, eh? Like I was going through the cracks of the rocks. It was really cool. Saw actually a big cod, spooked a big cod and um, it went underneath a ledge, but I never saw it again. That's one of the fish that I'm sort of looking for out here is cod, tuskies. All right, second spot, a little bit deeper. Let's go. Back down I go in some slightly deeper water cruising over these weedy, bommy beds. And come face to face with what looks to be a big cod. <laughs> it turns, spooks. Pretty sure that was a puffer fish. Soon after, I go back down. This time, I didn't even see that cod. I was looking to lay on the bottom and out of nowhere, it spooks. They're here. I go out a bit wider again and slightly deeper. This is when things get interesting. I come across this healthy school of Moses perch. Only little, there's a lot amongst them. And I spot a blue bone in behind the Moses. I line it up. and they spook. I must have gone back down to this spot a good 10 times, seeing the bluey here and there. This was the last dive of the day. I try and stay still, scratch the bottom a little bit. Put the Moses cruising out the back. In comes a bluey. Couldn't believe it. Never got a blue bone from this spot. And it's a good size one as well.
What a cracker. Morton Bay Blue Bone or Black Spot Tusky. And yeah, that's a good size one. All right, I'm gonna put him straight on ice. I've already blained and uh, brained and bled it. So it's gonna be beautiful eating. What a fish. Oh man, that's made this session worthwhile. Oh, I'm so happy with that. All right guys, I'm back at home. I've just cooked up a dish that I've never done before and I'm pretty damn excited to taste it. It's right here in front of me. And I wouldn't say I cooked, but I've put together this dish. I just got the recipe off the internet and yeah, it's been something I've wanted, been wanting to try for a very, very long time. And it's super healthy. So I'm gonna run you through the preparation right now and then I'll see you back here when I, when I dig in. I'm gonna do fish ceviche my first time ever and I've just started to chop up the onions so I'm just finely slicing onions I'm gonna use lime juice to cook well it's not really cooking the fish but it does turn the fish white with the acidity so I guess it kind of is cooking green chili red chilies I got cucumber and the fish and some parsley and some tomatoes so I'm gonna chop all that up put it into a big bowl squeeze all the lime juice in and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge and leave that in there for 45 minutes apparently is the magic time so yeah let's do that I gotta get it done pretty quick because I've got to go to work soon and this is gonna be my lunch Okay, we've got our onions. Maybe that big? All right. It almost looks that good that I'd just eat it like this. It smells like the ocean. How bloody good. Okay. Oh, that should be plenty. And then we put our fish in. All right, give that a bit of a mix around. Now, we'll get all the other ingredients in there. I don't really like hot food, but I'm gonna put a few of these little finely sliced chili here. I wonder what they taste like. Oh, it's hot. Woohoo! <clears throat> They're not going in. I'm already sweating. All right. Whack all that in now. Oh my god, my mouth is on fire. Those chilies can stay on the board. Right, let's stir that in. How nice does this look? This is as fresh as it gets, man. I'm gonna put that in the fridge. About 40, 45 minutes. Then we'll dig in and I'll give you my honest taste review. I reckon it's gonna be good. I reckon it's gonna be fresh and delicious. Here it is guys. The final product. I've already had a little taste of the fish by itself about halfway through the um, marinade process and it is so good. Pretty excited to taste it all together. I'm gonna put it on a corn chip here. Never had this before, but I heard it is delicious. Yeah, how good. It is really good. Look at the fish, mate. Like, that's cooked. 
the lemon juice has turned that fish completely white. I'm not like a sashimi fan. Completely raw. But this, like look how fresh and delicious that looks. Really yummy. I love it. Fish you can taste. You can really taste the lime. And all the other flavors in there as well. So good. This is definitely gonna be something I do a lot more of. And I'll be experimenting with different combinations. Alright, catch us next time guys. Thanks for watching.